What's good, Spider Gang? MJ here, and today we're gonna be watching Eve's Bayou. So I have to go on a short little rant. Oh, sh here we go again. Before we start anything else, because this one was actually requested by a former patron, Femi. Femi decided to go on a rampage because I haven't did their request because I've been extremely busy with moving. So you cry baby ass now I'm gonna do your reaction and you're not even gonna be able to see the full thing. So f you and you can suck my <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to, you know, come into this reaction with negativity because I wanted to see this movie anyways, but y'all already know I had a lot of stuff going on. I was moving. I had a lot of other reactions to get to and I was trying to get to the faster ones, but nonetheless, I still wanted to see this movie. It sucks of the circumstances that this came to. Um, right now I'm reacting to it because I'm being spiteful. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, I, I wanted to watch it anyway, so we're gonna watch it today. I see this movie has Samuel Jackson, Megan Good, Lynn Whitfield, all the all stars. So I'm really, really excited to see this movie today. And I know y'all are probably excited to see this as well. So if you end up enjoying my reaction, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel. Also, if you want to see my full reaction to this movie, as well as request things that will be reacted to, I promise I'm not a scammer. Cross my heart. <laughs> they will be reacted to eventually. Go ahead and click that Patreon link down in the description below. Full movie and show reactions are there. And yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. So let's go ahead and get into this reaction because I know that you guys probably want to see this anyways. And like I said, I still wanted to see it. Um, so I'm not going to let that thing ruin my mood. <laughs> We're just going to go ahead and get straight into it. I stopped what I was doing to react to this movie <laughs> because I was so upset. Um, I was just filming for the gaming channel, I was getting ready to cook dinner, and I completely stopped because of the amount of disrespect I'm getting on Patreon just because people are not getting their reactions right away. Let me just make this announcement real quick. I posted on Patreon already, so they already know, but let me just, for YouTube as well, just in case you plan on going to Patreon. Guys, I just, for the past week, I've been moving and packing. I've been really, really busy. I have a life too. I know it may not seem like it, because I'm a YouTuber, but I have a life too, you know? So for the past week, I've been trying to do faster reactions just to get things out there on YouTube and Patreon. So please forgive me if I'm not getting to your requests as fast as you would like, but I really, really am trying. Like, I'm busy. Now we're just gonna start knocking out reactions though. I got settled in, everything's, you know, ready to go. So now we're just gonna start knocking out all requests and regular reactions that I have listed. So yeah, forgive me if it takes a little longer for me to get to yours. I, I could literally show you guys the list the list is like never freaking ending like <laughs> i'm trying the summer i killed my father i was 10 years old whoa whoa hold on we just stepped into this fast talking about the summer you killed your father slow enslaved woman called eve in return for his life he freed her and gave her this piece of land by the bayou what we are the descendants of eve and jean paul batiste i was named for her okay what that's crazy hold on we're already starting out pretty crazy so the sentences she started out with was one she killed her father at 10 years old <laughs> that's already a crazy sentence and then two she has I, I think she means that she has eve's name and this is eve's bayou because eve ended up saving someone it sounds like it's more more of a folk tale than the truth though so i don't know how true it actually is but whoa we're already starting out crazy <laughs> slow down i'm surprised megan good is even in this this thing is old 1997 you could tell this movie old just by how it looks <laughs> They ain't getting it in with it. Mm, they going crazy. Okay, so they're going crazy back there, and then these people slow dancing. Oh, he getting him some tonight. From what I hear, ain't just him getting it. Why y'all gossiping? <laughs> oh, the so if she don't move her behind up my face. These women look good. Like, look at their bodies. Here's your favorite niece. Oh, there she go. Wait, hold on, sweetness. Aww. A kiss and a chocolate. It's funny because I've been seeing a lot of these people. Two kisses and all the chocolates you can eat. My baby. 
<laughs> like I just seen Lynn Whitfield in A Thin Line Between Love and Hate. And I just seen that little girl in, I don't remember where I seen her. <laughs> well, don't just stand here and let Harry eat them all. <laughs> oh, Roll Bounce. I just seen Roll Bounce with her. Ooh. Why is she looking like that with him? You don't like him or something? <laughs> oh, you just made him eat some beans. Oh, there's Megan Go. Okay, I knew she had to be a little younger because it's an older movie. <laughs> Chocolate beans is wild. Prince expressly had forbid this bandying in Verona streets. <laughs> like what? So is that French that they're speaking? I'm assuming because it's Jean-Paul Bautiste. That sounds like a French name. Even Samuel L. Jackson looks young. This movie gotta be like 1997 is when this came out. This feels so much older, like 1970s. <laughs> Whoa, girl, what the heck? Your son's the best color doctor in all of Louisiana. Color doctor? Best color doctor? Oh my God, that must be amazing. Got a practice, that's all. Why are you looking at him like that? If you was just feeling up on that other guy, like, oh, I hate women like this. Mm. Why is that girl so angry? She it's like she's jealous of everybody. You want dance sweet? What's wrong with her? This family is like it's like one of those families where it's so big that you don't know who's like really related to who. <laughs> <laughs> like I, I know that that uh, other guy is her dad, I believe. But then they said your favorite niece, so I, I don't know what's going on. Megan Good said to her, "Look at Dad go." And maybe it'll be clearer once they get older and stuff. But I don't understand it right now. What's the matter with her? She seems like such a, a distant, lonely child. Mm. 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 <gasps> <gasps> no, your daughter catching you is wild. <laughs> oh no. Do you remember Mrs. Moreau? Sorry, I scared you, Mrs. Moreau. She's so young, I don't even think she understood what was going on. And if she did, that's that's even worse. Would you like to go outside? Mm -mm. That's horrible, man. That's horrible. Being that young and catching him, like, that's horrible. Daddy loves you so much. I know. Okay, so that is, that is her dad. Okay, cool. I was just making sure because I didn't 100% know. Your mama's a lady and I'll always love her. Always. You can't, no, nah, uh-uh, no. You can't love someone and trying to sleep with other women. You don't truly love her then. Stuff, but not at parties. You always dance with Sicily. Aww. From now on, we'll dance at every party. <laughs> As a little kid, that's all she's worried about. She don't even care about the fact she just caught her daddy cheating. Your cohorts are already in pajamas. I was talking to daddy. Well, I guess that's legal. Yeah, that's allowed, right? <laughs> it's valid you talk to the other parent. <laughs> you have fun tonight? I bet you did. I feel like the mama knows something. I don't think she's completely clueless, but she's gonna probably let it slide because she don't want to ruin her perfect family or nothing. You sober? Barely. <laughs> <laughs> like, she is so beautiful. How could you cheat on her? I was in the carriage house. Well, you was in there a long time. Is she gonna tell her sister? I feel like she should tell her. What's the matter, what? Nothing. Hey, don't tell me it's nothing. What's wrong? Her sister seems so sweet, like she's there for her with everything. Daddy wouldn't touch that cow. It's true, I saw them. He had his hands on her. Why are you gonna ask her what's wrong just to be mad at her? I know you don't want to believe it, but... They came in to get some more wine, and Daddy told her a joke, and she fell against him laughing. Don't do that to that little girl. She knows what she saw. You sure? Don't do that. Come on. I mean, what would Daddy want with Maddie Moreau? 
Mom is the most beautiful woman in the whole <sighs> Yeah, she, she, I think it was really wrong of her to sit here and lie to that little girl like that. She knew what she saw and she knew it was wrong and now you just put it in her head that it's, it's okay. Like, that's not okay. I may be drunk, but I can whip your butt. Well, come on, man. Stop it, you come asshole. On, <laughs> Bro, you just missed. <laughs> How you gonna swing and miss? <laughs> just because you a doctor, you think you know every fucking thing. You won't know every fucking thing. What? He's saying it's dangerous for you to drive. Good night, Uncle Harry. Good night, Uncle Harry. Night, y'all. Be good. Mm -mm. Night, Cicely. Fuck you, Doc. Shut the hell up. <laughs> He's drunk, man. You can't be mad at him. He's drunk. But I'm glad they ain't let him drunk drive or nothing. Whoa, what was that slow mo? That's dangerous. What was that? What do I get? <laughs> she having bad dreams? <gasps> so I did get into a car accident, anyways. How is that even possible if. Uncle Harry. So she knew already. She must have a gift or something. God bless Uncle Minot and Uncle Anderson. How did they pass away though? If the wife was driving and she was sober, right? That's why she took the keys from him? Oh no, shoot. It looks like it was inevitable at that point. If he would have drove, he's drunk driving. If she would have drove, they would have got into a car accident anyways. <laughs> I knew when they did that slow mo though that something was gonna happen. I just seen it. Wake up. Oh wait, so she didn't pass away? Aww. Aww. You don't look so bad. <laughs> it's not your fault they die. Are you telling me that, hold on, I'm just gonna assume those are, other two are her brothers because there's no way that every time she has a husband, they die, right? Which one did you love best? I don't know, Eve, they was all different. So you're telling me every husband she's had, they died? No, nah, you're just bad luck at this point. <laughs> Make yourself invisible for a while. If you're quiet, you'll be able to hear. Mm -hmm. who's, who's coming over? I know it ain't another man. Oh, okay, I was about to say, I know you're not inviting another man over already. I'm yeah, I think she's just bad luck at this point. I can't take it anymore. I have to know. Does she have the same? Hold on, wait. Does Eve have the same gift as this lady? That's actually going to be freaking insane if, if they do. So they do have the same gift. He's alive, Hillary. You'll find him in Detroit at St. Michael's Hospital next Tuesday. What? Your son's on drugs. You'll need strength to help you through this. Oh my gosh. So Eve must have inherited her aunt's skill. Like that's the only logical way, like. What is this? This is literally like a gift from God, but it's it's kind of like a curse too, because now you know where people are or if they're dead or not, or, oh, oh this is weird, wait. <laughs> wow, this is literally her living and she still cares for people while doing it. Like, this is so shocking. I didn't even expect this. I'm so sorry to hear about your husband. He was such a fine man. So she literally could see everyone else's fate except hers and her life. That's wild. You told daddy you didn't practice no voodoo. What? Girl, you too little to smoke. Stop. We'll see. But what if it don't? I don't think she'll sue me. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> what is he gonna do? <laughs> so is Eve gonna tell her that she also possesses the same skills as her? Or do they already know? Like, I don't know, but it's crazy. There's absolutely nothing in this world lower than eavesdropping on the conversation of others. It's private. This older sister is like, she, she plays the role of an older sister very well, but she's too busy trying to cover up stuff for her parents and stuff like I, I i get it but i wouldn't like her <laughs> that's all i'm gonna say if she was my sibling i wouldn't like her go quick they're really mad who mad baby who them <laughs> they always mad no they really mad she tried to warn you <laughs> you ain't listen yeah they do seem like they can make a good couple you really think so <laughs> <laughs> i love this little girl she's so full of life and positive and stuff i don't know i just really like her doctor would you give me something for the pain going outside and play uh-uh 
What pain is that, Stevie? Like, your daughter is not stupid, bro. Like, oh, God. Open your mouth. Say, ah. Uh. <laughs> I gotta go to the hospital. I have to take you home. Oh, no. Please, Daddy. See, he's really playing his daughter like she's dumb or something. She is not dumb. She knows what she's talking about. I feel so bad for this family, man. I said to myself, here's a man who can fix things. He's a healer, he'll take care of me. I feel so, I feel so bad for this family, like. We're two of a kind, my brother and I. One day he'll turn around, and then he'll stop looking for what he already has. That's her brother, too? What if it's too late? Let's eat pomegranates. <laughs> If it's too late, let's eat pomegranates. <laughs> Facts, let's just ignore all our problems and eat pomegranates. Love that. So that's his sister and she's defending them, I guess? I say you had a case of professional jealousy. I am a psychic counselor. Elzor is a sideshow attraction. What? Why are you talking crap to her? My sister lost something of a skeptic, but I'd very much like my fortune told. Sit down disrespectful sit down girl the attitude i shouldn't even came all that paint on your face i shouldn't even came over here stay quiet and wait sometimes a soldier fall on his own sword hmm? in three years time you will be happy again three years Look to your children. Whoa, that is creepy. That's it? Just wait three years and everything will be fine? Look to your children. That is really creepy. I mean, she's not as specific as the other lady, but maybe she's still right. She, yeah, she knew. She knew that she was being honest. You are a curse. Next man who marries you is a dead man like the others. Wow. Yeah, I knew it. Yes! Oh, hey, you had to throw my money jar. I mean, is she wrong? Like, all three of your husbands have died. I think that's a little odd. Like, not just divorced you, they died. It's dead. Are you sure? It's not moving, is it? That thing gonna kill you. It's dead, you little chicken. That thing is not dead. You're gonna pick it up and it's gonna. Yep, I knew it. What is that? A black mamba? I wouldn't pick up a snake even if it was dead. <laughs> What is happening? She just kept saying, look to your children. Then Moselle has this vision of a child getting hit. <laughs> I don't think that's the same thing. Fortune telling is just something we let her do to keep her out of trouble. She may be crazy, but them visions always come true. They do. I mean, like, if they come true, but I think she kind of misinterpreted what that lady told her, though. You're looking right at us, mama. Nothing ever happens behind your back. Don't talk back to your mother. You're she likes her father more, too. That's weird. When I was growing up, children did not participate in the conversation of adults. Nah, I feel like something else is going on because why is he favoritism to his oldest child like that? I don't like that. Go on and let the little hooligans get round over. He'll be much quieter around here. Oh, so rude. How you gonna say that about my children? <laughs> when you find a way to put sickness on an eight hour, five day schedule, you let me know. Some sickness is hard to put a finger on. Ooh, she wrote a stitch. <laughs> She would have, bro, I don't know why she hasn't told her mama. I would have been told my mama. You love your daddy, baby. You know I do. That's all I need. Mm. Don't you think you're being a little immature? Like, is she serious? Keeping us in the house because ain't Moselle seeing things. And not one day to go to work. What's wrong with you? Little girl, do you know that I am your mother? I'll beat the living daylight out of her. But until then, this is my house and you will do as I say. I said, do you understand? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, better me, yes, ma'am. Girl, who are you talking to? I don't know if they do it different back in the day, but I would have just backhanded the crap out of her. I can't be the only one thinking this, like uh, catching on to these hints or something, that it's clearly something deeper going on with the older daughter and the dad. I don't think it's just dad daddy daughter relationship you know what i'm saying i don't know maybe it's just me that does be screened at night so stumble on my council they're so bored they're trying to find anything to do they can't even do dominoes right <laughs> 
Hey, when I was a kid, obviously I like to go outside a lot. I was outside with my friends almost every day through middle school and high school. But like younger age, I used to try to find anything to do. I loved reading, art, hobbies, arts and crafts. I'll do anything just to find a way to keep myself occupied, especially because I didn't have friends. This girl is so bad though. She just be doing stuff. Damn it. I heard you. You say God damn it. Oh, that don't mean you say it. Does it hurt? What? Your finger, mother. <laughs> Your finger, mother? Hello, the thing you just cut. No one's so wide as a church door. But tis enough, true sir. I mean, what do you expect? Y'all, you got these children in here so bored. We've read most of the tragedies. We're starting on a goddamn comedy. Oh. No. Stop cursing. Look what I found in the attic. A Monopoly board of Chinese checkers. Ooh, board games. Your father works hard so we can have a house with four bathrooms. Not every night he's not working. I know he's not. Oh. <gasps> you did not just say that. Yo, she, okay. <laughs> I know she was upset and impatient because she want to, like, she want to get out the house. But, bro, she just went off on her mama. It's true. I saw them. You saw who? Tell the truth. I was out in the carriage house, and they didn't see me. It was worse than just kissing. They were... Hush, hush, let me... Don't, yeah, don't give her details. She don't care about that. Jeez, man. No. Because if you tell anyone, anyone at all, I'm going to kill you. Oh. Better not tell her you told her sister. And with your mama's feelings, I swear I'll do you harm. Yes, ma'am. I get it, but come on, man. We gotta we gotta shed light to that. A lot the same, your father and I. Except I don't have no children to catch me. Oh! Talk about I don't have no children to catch me. Ma'am! They not loved you most of all. But I didn't know that until I met Jose. Tell me about Jose. <laughs> tell me about Jose. No! Tell me about Jose. I wanna know about Jose. Pull the gun out and aim it at Maynard. I'm in love with your wife. And if you try to stop us, I'll kill you. Oh my god. My wife ain't going nowhere. In that moment, I knew that I loved Maynard. Ma'am, you were still cheating. I get it. I understand. But you were still cheating. That situation wouldn't have happened. Tell this man you ain't going nowhere with him so he can get the hell out of my house. Oh my god. God, I love these movie effects. Oh, Lord. I walked slowly over. It's like she's literally watching it. It's a great fire in me, and I said, leave our house. I never want to see you again. So I guess the lesson that she's trying to give this child is that even with the feelings that a lover gives you, it'll never be the same in your marriage because you really, truly do love them. Any scene? Yeah, that situation wouldn't have happened if she didn't cheat, so she's bad luck, like I've been saying. Um, but anyways, yeah, that's sad about that one, man. Hey, Daddy. Hey, pumpkin head. Uh, look who's up. Mm -hmm. Look how mad she gets. Uh-uh. Your mama would kill me if she finds out I had you up. Night, night out. Daddy. She's gonna be mad at her for coming down here saying that. Bro, it's something weird about this girl. I can't put my finger on it, but just the, the way she reacts when anyone else is with her dad is, is really, that's not how a daughter acts at all. I don't know what it is, but it's something weird about her. Wee, this guy looks like the Grim Reaper. Folks around here say you read the future. Bro, he came up real creepy though. Why did he come up like that? We came here to get a, uh, a vision from her. I cannot continue and yet I cannot stop until I know where's my wife. I feel like this stuff is so emotional. Like, not emotional, but the, the suspense and the anticipation. Like, ooh, it was giving me jitters. Whoa, your wife cheated? That's crazy. Uh, telling him that has to suck. So what, he's staying here now? Okay, so they're gonna end up liking each other, falling in love probably. Ugh, but is her bad luck gonna get to him too? Mm, I don't know. I feel like it's gonna, she's gonna be, okay, never mind. I was gonna say I feel like she's gonna be reluctant because she's afraid, you know, that he might die too, but I guess she don't care. Officer, you don't understand. I'm afraid she might be hit by something. Cicely! Thank God. 
Alright, alright, re rejoicing moments over. Now punish her because she left. You what? Uh-uh. I had to cross the train tracks and I'm alive, mama. I didn't get hit by anything. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, you had that coming. You disrespected your mama like that? It don't matter if you didn't get hit. She gave you an order, you're supposed to listen. Uh-uh. That slap was long overdue. Nah, it was long overdue. I don't care. She had it coming. Bro, why are these girls wearing crop tops and stuff? I'm sorry, my child will not wear that at this young of an age. You're gonna have to wait a while before you could do any of that. Aww. Aww, the sister love. When I was your age, I was just like you. I thought I knew everything. Yeah? Now even the things I'm most familiar with seem mysterious to me. What sucks is even telling a child this, like, oh, I, I, I was just like you. I thought I knew everything, but I really didn't. It means nothing to them. They're never going to understand that. If you disobey my orders, leave this house again. I swear I'll lock you in your room. Do you hear me? Yes, ma'am. When you have children on your own, you'll understand. And, and it's weird because my mom used to tell me that all the time. But me as an adult now, I understand it more than anyone. And I don't even have children yet. I know you love your dad and your dad loves you. I don't want you waiting up for him anymore. Yeah, she's pissed at that one. She's getting real fed up with her daddy, bro. Everything she knows, she's getting so fed up. It sucks that when marriages and relationships are like this and they have kids involved, the kids always get the shitty end of the stick. Like, they never ask for any of this. It's so sad. You can't possibly marry me. I can't let that happen. Is it that you don't love me? No. She's bad luck, man. I'm cursed. I can't have children. I'm barren. You don't care about none of that. You're wounded here. And it's here that I'll plant seeds. Oh, pause. <laughs> Just thought about that. Like, plant seeds? <laughs> That's really what's happening when you reproduce. You're planting seeds in someone's womb. <laughs> That's so nice. But you That's not the real reason you can't marry her. She won't say it. Oh, this is the vision that she has seen. Don't smile at that. And tonight, we'll barbecue outside. <laughs> yeah, we're free, whoa. It is not right to celebrate when somebody's child is dead. Hey man, it's not your child. I think that's okay enough to celebrate. Look, some other kid got hit, we're free. Go away. <laughs> oh, okay, that's so disrespectful. <laughs> Okay, so she got her period. There ain't nothing wrong with that. She's literally trying to kill her. What the heck? What happened? Mm-mm, you in so much trouble, girl. Why well, was you trying to kill your sister? Don't do that. She started her period. Did you know that? No. She didn't even tell me. Oh, God. So, maybe she's had it for a minute? I just want to check your pulse and your temperature, baby. No, I don't want you looking at me. What? Okay, there's no, her period wouldn't do this to her. Like, there has to be a, a deeper underlying issue that we're not seeing here. Because her period would not make her act that way. This girl is so sweet. I love her so much. She's just so cute. I said, how much for this pineapple? You better listen to this little girl. That's too much. Hey, why are you stealing pineapples? Bad girl. Give me my dang pineapple. So anybody can just whoop anybody? Like... Like, I didn't think anyone could just whoop anyone's kids. I would have, too. If that's the case, I would have been whooping all these kids. They bad as if. It's already been two weeks. She won't eat. She won't speak. It's like she's sleepwalking. There has to be something deeper, bro. I, I don't know what it could be, but. We can work it out together. Everything's gonna be fine again, I promise. I wanna go. What? Nah, see? I don't know. I don't understand what's happening. Well, it's all settled. I talked to grandmother, and she just can't wait to see it. That poor girl's gonna be missing her sister, like... Is it something that I did? Why won't you talk to me? This poor little girl. Like, she had a connection with her sister all this time. It just disconnected like that. The other thing they were fighting about was Maddie Moreau. Mama knows about Daddy and Maddie. Damn. I was afraid of what she might have said. 
Oh my god. What happened? No, he did not. No, he did not do that to his daughter. Wait, and he was hugging me and kissing me. So I finally pushed him away with my knee. I must have hurt him. I can't. No, I can't watch. I'm sorry. I can't do it. I'll kill him for hurting you. Oh my god, bro. Now I see why she killed her dad. Like, <laughs> that's so disgusting. God, I feel so fucking disgusting right now. This is kind of how I felt when I was watching The Color Purple. Like, it was like, I'm so angry and so disgusted. Like, I just, I don't even want to watch this shit anymore. Sometimes I feel like I've lost so much. I have to find new things to lose. She is so filled with rage right now. I don't even blame her. Do you just wish real hard that they were dead? Or do you have to do something special? What led you to that particular thought? Don't tell her. You promised Cicely you wouldn't tell her. Give me your hands. Give them to me. I don't think, no, I don't think you should. Especially if y'all possess the same skill, I really don't think you should. Well, go on and keep secrets if you want to. But you can't kill people with voodoo. Nah, because why couldn't she see anything when they touched hands? That's probably because they have the same skill. Bro, I'm telling you, bro, this, this shit is crazy. I'm like, I'm just putting two and two together right now. What on earth is she trying to do? Everybody's fine. How's Meg? Hey, same as always. You know, salty and sweet. Mm-mm. Well, you know you just walk right past her. <laughs> mm -mm. This little girl is plotting something crazy. And no one's gonna see it coming because she's a little girl. Maddie don't seem like the lonely type. No, I guess not. Are you about to ruin their relationship? My mama gets real lonely. She's the lonely type. Not like Daddy and Maddie. Oh, girl, you just trying to start shit. Stop. You know dang well you shouldn't have told him that. I've been looking for you. Only people ever look for me got good reason. I got good reason. You got money? Yeah. She got real money. You better give her some time. $20 is a lot of money back then, I bet, because their whole clip had $1 bills. Your office is in the swamp, ma'am? Are you related to... That I was scaring me. I'm her niece. And she the one you want dead? No, someone else. Too bad. Ah! Disrespectful. I want him dead. More than him more. Oh, relax. She is aggressive. I brought you some. I'm a call. I hope it's enough, though. Well. Oh, she knows her stuff. You come back Thursday night, and we will see. She gave you $20. You better make it worthwhile. What do you mean? We'll see. We better have that done. If you don't have it done with the voodoo, you better hire a hitman. That's $20. What's wrong with you? Oh. Oh, she real mad. She want him dead, dead. I mean, I don't blame her, but... This is a little aggressive for a child as young as her. They said she's 10, so, or when she, in the beginning, she said she was 10 when she killed her father. I don't know if she was still 10. When... This girl been watching every night. How the heck did you sneak out? Sicily couldn't even go to the living room without her mother knowing. She just snuck out the whole house? Oh no, it's creepy out here at night. <laughs> she's a brave little girl. I wouldn't be able to do that. Girl, you know how long it takes someone to walk to the door to open it? Relax. Shoot. Get the hell off my property before I cook you and eat you. What? You told me to come Thursday night, and now you're talking about get the hell off my property. Mm, I thought you was one of those town kids always bothering me. Especially <laughs> outside I am. I had to do something first, like stick pins in it or... You did something. You brought me his hair. That thing not gonna work. I wanted to have it. I need it. God. You need the voodoo doll. You do not need the voodoo doll. You said you wanted him dead. <laughs> Why is she so creepy? What am I missing? What what chapter did we skip? What chapter did we skip? 
I guess that lady's just crazy or something. She just walked into a bar like she's just that one. Baby, go outside while I say goodnight to Ms. Monroe. Hurry up. Oh, she made sure to tell you to hurry up. She knows what you got going on, little tramp. It's the train. That's what they had seen. Yeah, that's what they had seen. Oh, hey, Mr. Moreau. Oh, yeah, that's who's gonna kill him. And you're the one. Okay, so that's what had happened. That's why she thinks she killed her dad because she told him what happened. You don't be ridiculous, Lenny. Don't lie. And you been Lenny. I love you, Lewis. I love you, Lenny. No, he said loved as in past tense. To speak to my wife again, and I will kill you. Do you understand? Mm-mm, that's what you get. You got caught up. Okay, so that's, I was thinking maybe that's why she thought she killed her dad or something because she told the husband that, uh... Keep off that whiskey, old man. You apologize to me tomorrow. Oh. Night, Maddie. He just told you you speak to her again, you're dead, and you still did it, bro? The nerve that you have. You had it coming. I'm sorry. I ain't got, I, I, I can't say anything. He had it coming. Like, I don't know what you want me to say. You had it coming. You played with the wrong one. Like, <laughs> shit, it's like life's a joke to him or something. No. <laughs> She just couldn't keep her mouth shut. Oh, look at that evil lady. She evil as hell. Uh-uh, you did dark voodoo, man. Now you forever tainted. I can't really be sad in this moment because I feel like he had it coming. Like, I feel like it was karma. You took for granted what you already had and you played your little girl to be stupid. Like she wouldn't have known what was going on. You should have stopped as soon as she caught you the first time. Maybe God will be kind and allow me to go with him. I'm tired of being left alone. Mm -mm. I don't know what's the point of telling this to the child, man. She do not care. Your daddy gave me a message for you. Tell Eve I still owe her that dance. Oh. How does she even know that when it was a private conversation with her and her father? Like, that's how you know that this lady just knows stuff. I really didn't know what to expect from this movie, but this shit is insane. Stem from some weakness in myself that allows you to believe the worst of me. Wait, what? But nothing in her behavior prepared me for what happened on the night of the storm. Wait. I never sleep through a fight like that, so I wasn't surprised when she came downstairs. Maybe I was even waiting. Oh my gosh. Even he admitted to it in this letter. I realized that my daughter was kissing me like a woman. I was so startled that I hit her. Oh. The look she gave me almost stopped my heart. <gasps> Wait, hold on, two separate stories? So now Eve killed her father. If this is true, Eve killed her father for basically nothing because Cicely lied. Daddy wrote Mozilla a letter. You lied. I wasn't lying. I believed you. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if, if she's really lying or if he's lying or what, but. He hurt me, Eve. He hurt me so badly. I wanted to die. Man, that was your dad. I have to know. I can't. Please. Whoa. Okay, so she knows she got the gift. She's not dumb. She knows she got it, and now I guess they're gonna... All right, let's see. Let me see what happened. I wanna know what happened, too. I don't know. Wait, so what happened? Bro, I'm so confused. They didn't even tell me what happened. I have the gift of sight, but the truth changes color depending on the light, and tomorrow can be clearer than yesterday. Okay, so what he said in the letter did happen, but she's defending her sister? Each thread woven together to make a tapestry of intricate texture, and the tapestry tells a story, and the story is our past. What the f What is happening? I'm so lost right now. <laughs> so was her dad telling the truth, but she didn't like tell the truth because she was defending her sister or was her sister telling the truth and her dad lied in the letter. So they buried the letter, wet the letter, whatever. They destroyed it so people wouldn't see it. I, I don't know what's up. 
Maybe y'all can help me better understand in the comments. Maybe y'all understand the, the ending a little better than me, but that part just really confused me. Okay, so that is the end of the movie. That girl's name is Journey Sm Smollett. That's her name. I'm gonna remember that because she is beautiful and I've been seeing her a lot lately. But anyways, that's the end of the movie. That movie was really, really good in my opinion. That was an amazing movie. Like, honestly, I really, really, really like this movie right up until the end. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you guys. This movie was like a whole 10 out of 10, like 100 out of 10 for me, right up until the end. Not that it was bad, but I was just a little confused on the ending because the vision that she saw wasn't very clear. Maybe if she saw a more clear end, uh, vision, then I would have understood. But other than that, this, this movie was amazing. Wow. I loved it, absolutely. So thanks Femi for putting me on to the movie, but fuck you, you know what I'm saying? Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction to that. If you did, again, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel. Yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for tuning in. This has been MJ, and don't ask about Spider-Man. Peace.